welcome back. Well, for men, erectile dysfunction and other health issues are embarrassing to talk about. But look at any magazine or news article and you'll find information about it because so many people suffer with it and usually in si silence. So today, we're going to talk about it. That's right. Dr. Christopher Asanja and Dr. Carlos Feliciano are with New Male Medical Center where they treat men with these type of health issues. And what I always look forward to is how open and honest you guys are about this conversation. You also have a sense of humor, which I'm sure helps in treating these very em embarrassing problems for men. One of the things I was hoping you would talk about is the experience that men have in both calling your office as well as visiting your office, mm -hmm. because I think you try to make it as painless as possible, not just in terms of physical pain, but make it easy for them to visit and talk about their issues. Yeah, I think one of the things we pride ourselves on, not only on our patient care, is actually the, the confidence that we, that we instill in our patients. Um, when someone calls, there's someone there to talk to them about their problems, kind of guide them to the right place, but ultimately get them to see the doctor. And is uh, it a man who answers the phone? It's, it's usually a man who answers the phone, yes. Okay. Uh, we have private exam rooms. There's no waiting. As soon as the patient walks in, they're brought back to a private waiting room where they're greeted by one of our medical assistants and, and the process begins. I think that's huge. There's no waiting room. You don't have to sit in a, in a waiting room and look at other guys and say, oh, what are you here for? You know, right. I mean, you don't have to think about that. You, you are brought back immediately to a private doctor's room. That's correct. And mm -hmm. that's, I think just that simple thing mm -hmm. is so much less intimidating for a man who's, you know, maybe suffered in silence for a long time with something like erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. For you guys, how do you treat that? You know, when, it, when somebody calls, because I assume a lot a lot of guys have probably tried many things sure. by the time they actually make a phone call. Right. Well, I, I think the thing that separates us from, from the typical pills and all that is we actually take a therapeutic approach to our patients. Let's find the cause of it. Let's find what's what's causing the erectile dysfunction and treat it. First of all, ED or erectile dysfunction is the inability to obtain or maintain an erection. What can we do to get to the bottom of it and actually heal it? If you have a crack in your window, and we attribute like the pills to like if there's a crack in your window and you're just putting chewing gum on it and kind of patching it up that way, but you're not fixing the root problem. Our medications are FDA approved, they're therapeutic, they're designed to rehabilitate the penile tissue so it can get you functioning again. Uh, the side effect is that you get a great erection with it too. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask you this, it's, it's a little candid, but it, it, for the men and the women out there, how often is it that you find that the, men is just, the man is just not aroused and that's why he can't mean uh, yeah, it, it could be that way as well. But most of our patients that we see, I think it's a confidence. They want to bring back that and restore this this vitality that they had before. And, and sometimes it could be an arousal issue, which Dr. Feliciano will talk about. Maybe it's low T as well. But uh, you know, the, the goal is let's find out what's causing the, the you know this problem in the patient. Let's treat it and get you working. Yeah, get you working. <laughs> how, often, <laughs> how often is it low testosterone? Um, you know, men do suffer from low testosterone as we age, uh, starting in our thirties. Uh, testosterone levels start to drop. So, you know, testosterone is one of those hormones for men that it's, it, it does a lot of different things. I mean, we talk a lot uh, on the show about libido and things like that, but it actually does uh, affect all systems, heart, brain, muscle, bone. I just came back from a conference in San Francisco and reviewed all, all the latest literature. And, uh, I mean, we're finding, uh, we're finding that this is truly affecting a lot of different things. So when it comes to erectile dysfunction and low testosterone, uh, you know, that's, low testosterone is a factor, okay? And um, when done correctly and supervised and followed routinely uh, and replaced, uh, men truly feel amazing. That, that aspect in, in terms of libido definitely improves and people feel good, uh, much better. I just uh, uh, got a text from a patient the, uh, just yesterday and he said that uh, just the little things, he feels more assertive, He's not putting off his chores. He's actually doing things. And he says, and it's only lunchtime. So, Dr. Feliciano, what am I going to do now? <laughs> I got all this time. So, you know, it's really good to hear that. And, you know, men do really benefit from this. Yeah. So, you know, and physically, are there things that, that people, you mentioned kind of bone loss, osteoporosis in mm -hmm. men is related. Um, physically, can you see any changes? Because uh, I know there was a, a picture you kind of gave us where it's, uh, it's almost like the man, even in his stomach, gains a little bit mm -hmm. more weight. Is that a telltale or is that just something that kind of can be a, an indicator? Yeah. So uh, all these things, uh, obesity, central obesity, um, the mood and uh, like you said, the bone composition, these things are affected. Yeah. So, you know, testosterone is one of those things, you know, and I tell guys all the time, it's not a miracle. It's not going to help you just drop the weight right like that, but it's definitely going to aid you and guide you to do that appropriately. So the first things first, we always push diet and exercise. Yeah. Um, but, you know, with the testosterone being replaced and monitored, um, you know, these, these things do change, and we see it all the time. 
uh, patients who come in. We have a, a testosterone chart, I guess mm -hmm. you, you, you could say, that you, you shared with us, and it kind of shows how it decreases with age, which is a natural part of aging, mm -hmm. but the reality is you don't have to feel depressed or lower energy or constant fatigue or you know lower libido. You can have a sharper mind, be happier, have plenty of energy with the right therapeutic mm -hmm. doses of testosterone, right? This is absolutely correct, and you know, it's a quality of life issue, you know? Um, you know, we've, uh, evol medicine has evolved and hormone replacement is evolving uh, to, you know, and the whole point is to keep that good quality of life throughout the life. And, and you know, at some point we're all going to die, but why not feel good and, and benefit uh, from everyday things and, and be able to do those things um, and continue through our 80s and, and 90s. And as Dr. Feliciano alluded to, this is not just about the man, it's about the, you know, the quality of life and the relationship too. We've restored thousands of men's relationships, not just with you know, their self-confidence, but with their partners, with their wives, with their spouses. Um, it affects every, everything as a whole. Okay, when, when, when you've treated the low T, you've treated the ED, it really makes an impact on everybody that, around, the, around the man. I think mm -hmm. it's great. The confidential um, number to call as well, so you can make an appointment with New Mail Medical, is 414-982-1402. Again, remember, no waiting room. You go right into a, a confidential doctor's office. They're right on North, North Mayfair Road in Wauwatosa. So give a call to New Mail Medical for yourself or for your spouse. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Always a pleasure.